Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Lusail Stadium, just about 10 miles to the north of Doha here in Qatar. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's France against Denmark. Well, thanks Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays alongside Lucas Hernandez in central defence. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Pierre Emil Hoybier plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And they kick off here. Ericsson. Ericsson! Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Delivering it, not away completely, and in the end, no damage done. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace, and he's got plenty of pace. Oh, they to... could finish here, Stuart, and a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such reading. Great goal. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Kunde. This is Varan. Matteo Guendouzi. Chouameni. Extremely sloppy in possession. 
Delaney. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Has a go. And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. Kylian Mbappe. They might be able to get in now. So France behind, but what can they do with this corner? in by Griezmann wonderful header excellent goalkeeping and it's gone behind for the corner played in by Griezmann not all that convincing defensively Good pressure high up the pitch. Mikael Damsgaard. Well, very effective play in possession, but nothing comes of it. Benzema. Well, here it is again. Benzema finds exactly the right pass behind those defenders, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Plenty of support here. And on you go, says he quartered the attack illegally. Uh, perhaps a card is forthcoming. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, couldn't keep it. Now can they counter clinically? Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. Read it well. Benzema takes it forward now. Benzema. And back for Dembele. And an astute piece of defending. Counter attacking, very much an option. Fine ball from Ericsson. That is really alert defending just when the situation looked dangerous. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Hernandez. Can they take the lead? Just cleared away in the nick of time. 
So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, Antoine Griezmann, so far, you've got to say, excelling out there, Stuart. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully, they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Benzema. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. He has teammates around him. And this time the run, sadly, that's offside. <laughs> Karim Benzema. Griezmann. Just the challenge that was required. Kasper Dolberg. Intercepting it intelligently. Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. Mbappe now with Benzema defensive Brazilians to shut them down it certainly wasn't a clean tackle and the referee has got to book him I think and a yellow card for that Stewart and he's going to have to be careful now that was a silly challenge So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And that's an important intervention. Chouameni, Mbappe, well, a classic example of how to intercept. It's an excellent looking attack, courtesy of Griezmann here. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Kasper Dolberg, now Thomas Delaney. This is looking threatening. A good and fair challenge. Oh, the threat is there. An alert piece of defending. Ericsson. He takes aim. And the body in the way. Well, possibilities in the centre. No, high-quality defending. Ericsson. Oh, it 
Kicks off the post. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, that would probably have been the winner. It's so unlucky. Is there going to be a dramatic finish here? Let's hope so. Well, having been denied by the woodwork, now the focus is on keeping the opposition at bay. Can they forge ahead? No! And all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. Five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the teams cannot be separated. Yes, man. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Tempele. It has to be. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Delaney. And a fine cross. Still can be dangerous. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? Kick taken by Christian Eriksen. And a fine stop. Well, there it is. The final whistle. And France have prevailed in this one. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition. And in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them. Well, as is often the case, Ousmane Dembele was a real handful for opponents. Interested to know how you would sum up his contribution. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And of course, what a time to come up with a goal.